Hi everybody, it's uh, Saturday, October 18th, 2008. Thanks for stopping by. Now I've seen a lot of uh, discussion about ACORN uh, lately, so I just want to explain what ACORN, uh, this whole ACORN thing is about to everybody who might not quite understand. Now, uh, McCain said at the end of his uh, last debate with Obama that ACORN threatened to destroy the very fabric of democracy because they were committing voter fraud. Uh, and I think I've said before that this is a, a huge insult to our intelligence, especially this particular uh, claim. But let me explain w exactly why it's such a huge insult. The, the fact of the matter is um, ACORN hired people to uh, register voters in inner city areas and, uh, you know, uh, poor areas. They hire people to register voters who might not otherwise register. And some of the people that they hired didn't actually do their job. Uh, you know, probably a small number. You know, this is not like a huge problem for ACORN, but they did... They did have a few workers who goofed off, basically. They didn't actually go and register voters. They uh, just made up names and wrote them down on their forms and said, okay, I went and registered these people. So, you know, here's where's my money for all these people? So they got paid without actually registering voters. And Acorn was actually the victim in this uh, scam, if you want to call it that. Um... I mean, it's just worker misconduct, basically. Uh, so, now, what's the what's the upshot of this? Does this mean that uh, Obama is going to get more votes? No, it actually doesn't mean that at all. Um, the only thing that it means is that they think that X number of voters got registered, and they really didn't. Uh, and these are voters that come from inner city areas, from disadvantaged areas, so they might vote Republican or Democrat, they probably will vote Democrat. Demographically speaking, these, these are people from areas that typically vote Democratic, but that's not, uh, you know, that doesn't mean that they necessarily will. They might, some of them might vote Republican, you never know. So what it basically means is uh, they might think that they've got X number of people who are probably going to vote Democratic when they really don't. So some of those people, uh, you know, never got the help they needed to get registered to vote, and that's it. And and so this is really, uh, if you want to know the truth of it, this is actually to John McCain's benefit that this happened, and Acorn was the victim. Acorn complained about it. Acorn... Uh, brought it to the attention of people, and John McCain picked up on it and said, oh, it's fraud concerning voter registration. I can just call this voter fraud, and nobody will ever know the difference. Nobody's going to look into it and try to find out if I'm telling the truth or not. They're not going to think that I'm just lying to their face. And, you know, all of you people out there who don't believe me or who think that John McCain would never lie to you, I don't blame you, okay? I don't, uh, you know, I'm not trying to say you're stupid. I don't blame you. Uh, you know, you just don't think that people will just lie to you like that. You don't think that when you turn on the news, the people that are, you know, on the newscast on CBS or NBC or CNN or Fox or MSNBC, you don't think those people will just lie to you. When you go to school, you don't think that your teacher is going to tell you lies. You just It just doesn't come into your realm of possibilities. You don't think that when you see a debate on TV, it's all going to be a bunch of nonsense and lies. You just don't think that. It's not what you would expect. But that's what you get a lot of times. People on TV are lying to you. People, politicians, McCain, uh, Obama... Almost all of the others, they're lying to you all the time. 
or stretching the truth or omitting uh, crucial details that make a huge difference in what they're talking about. Uh, you know, so what you've got to understand is, I know it doesn't seem likely, but the world is full of liars and lies. Uh, and you see it all the time. So you can't watch a political debate and hear someone say something like what John McCain said and just assume that it's got to be true or there's got to be some element of truth to it because they wouldn't just lie to you. Well, that's just not true. They will just lie to you. So you have to be ready for that. Uh, if you don't believe me, just look it up and, and do some research about ACORN and find out for yourself. Uh, but, you know, people lie all the time. Some of them know they're lying to you. Some of them don't. Some of them think that they're telling the truth and they're just repeating lies. Some of them will tell you the truth, but they'll leave out crucial details that would affect your opinion if you knew them. You know, the, the most uh, effective form of lying is simply lying by omission. It's not technically lying. It's just telling you something without telling you the background or without telling you crucial factors in the story. For instance, I could tell you, uh, I was driving down the street today and uh, the person, uh, you know, there was a person ahead of me on the road who just slammed on his brakes all of a sudden and caused a three-car pileup. Well, that was a, that was terrible, wasn't it, right? I mean, what an idiot. How could that guy do that? Oh, and by the way, it just so happened that there was a uh, two-year-old baby sitting in the middle of the road, and he saw the baby, and he slammed on brakes to stop from running over it. Well, that changes the story just a little bit, right? Uh, maybe he wasn't such an idiot. Maybe he was a hero. Well... That's what the news and what the politicians uh, are doing to you every day. They're telling you that story, but they're omitting, they're omitting the fact that there just happened to be a little baby in the road that the other guy didn't want to hit. Or sometimes they're flipping it upside down and telling you the exact opposite of what really happened. Uh, you know, a good example of lying by omission is the story of uh, Russia invading Georgia that they're telling you all the time. They're talking about how Russia, which, don't get me wrong, Russia is, you know, an aggressive country and dangerous and all this stuff, and the, Putin is a dictator. Sure, I agree with all that, but they, t they say, okay, Russia invaded Georgia and uh, did all these terrible things. What they don't tell you is that before Russia invaded Georgia, Georgia invaded uh, South Ossetia and Abkhazia and killed thousands of civilians who happened to be Russian or ethnic Russians and who used to be part of the Soviet Union and Russia went in to protect those people. They don't tell you that part. They just say, oh, Russia just invaded Georgia just for no reason, out of, you know, out of the blue. Um, and, of course, Russia... Uh, went on to Tbilisi and all this stuff, which actually, if it had been us, we would have done the same thing, I think, because just like when we, um, when we invaded, uh, when we saved Kuwait from Iraq, there were a lot of people here that said, let's go on to Baghdad and take care of them so we don't have to worry about them again. Well, that's exactly what the Russians were thinking. They were thinking, well, let's go straight to Tbilisi and take care of this guy so we don't have to worry about him again. You know, and of course, we don't agree with it. It's too much, too much of a response. But, um, you know, that goes to tell you how biased we are, how we uh, overlook crucial details, or how the, the, the news overlooks crucial details. They don't tell you things. They, they omit certain things that they know will uh, bias you in the way that they want you to be biased. Uh, so, anyway, that's... Uh, Long story short, Acorn's not the big bad wolf. Uh, Acorn didn't really do anything wrong. So I think it was a huge insult for John McCain to say that they're destroying democracy to us and expect us to believe it. Thanks for watching.